Hello guys, this is Lotus. Today I am in Milan with my friend Heiko. <laughs> he wanted to get help with the sh some of the sharpening. Uh, he had a trouble um, sharpening uh, Terex knives, uh, pattern knives and Red Wranglers round knives. And also his um, scalpel Red Wranglers knife. Uh, these are high alloy steels and uh, he, need to, he wanted to get really really sharp. And uh, I recommended him to get a stone flattener before the sharpening the stone with the stones because the first step you want to um, achieve with your stone is the flatness. Uh, the flatness is really important because if your stone is not flat, your edge will not get um, sharpened evenly. So it will not get the, the maximum uh, the percentage from the, from the sharpening stone. So when you're sharpening from your stone, sharpening stone, Staying in flat is most important. And like I said in the previous video, Mafalo um, lapping plate is always, I really highly recommend this. With this plate, it's a, it's a very economical uh, stone to get your stone high precision. Yeah. So he buff one and you can see there's a stone and there's silicone mat. And also there's a straight edge to check the flatness. And it comes with the uh, diamond dressing. So this is only you need this to, when you buy this uh, f lapping plate for the first time, you need to um, dress the diamond because uh, it's a very fresh um, uh, diamond. It's sometimes too harsh for the stones and it's a micro, micro unevenness throughout the this plate. So you need to do the, some dressing. So I'll show you how, how you do it. So when you buy a new uh, Mafalo lapping plate, you can unpackage this and you'll see the diamond lapping plate very it's very nice uh, lapping plate and run your water okay and then just make your stone lapping plate a little bit wet like this and then take this stone dresser okay and then just using this angle edge side you just nicely just Go one to pass, and then the other side also. Okay, so what this does, this is stainless uh, stone dresser. So what this does is that during the manufacturing process of the Mafalo lapping plate, or every uh, diamond lapping plate, it's uh, just a, uh, it's it's unav unavoidable that they have a uh, the flatness all around the the stone evenly. So what it means that the stone, this plate is stainless steel. It's really that flat, but when they really put their diamond powdered particles onto their plates, it's nearly impossible to to have a that flat even diamond um, distribution so this will break away the weak diamond particles that are attached to the plates more so this can just knock it off the excess diamonds off the plate so you will have a that flat just like the um, the stainless steel uh, uh, plate so the diamond particles will be just that flat as well so this is what you need to do for the first time only when you buy uh, the you purchase this uh, Mafalo lapping plate. You need to do it only once, and you, you don't have to do it. You you can forget about this. Okay, it's the ceramic stone. So this is this side is one thousand, and this side is six thousand. So so if you see there are still particles still left in the stones, and also this side is pretty dirty, and you need to flatten this uh, before you sharpen the knife. So you make a grid pattern with your pencil like so okay and then you just go back and forth like this ceramic stones are quite tough to flatten but with this diamond flatten plate it's really no problem so I just need to wash to time to time and of course if you pre-soak your stone it's much easier I just run with the water a little bit mm -hmm. and I 
do it once again to see this pattern so by doing this you can see where the what which part is lower than the other part and which part is higher because high parts will get removed the fastest so this is why you do it so So the stone is quite flat now, okay? So I see some even spots. So I'll just make sure to just run only the last time once. I think it's already that flat, but just to make sure. Muffalo straight edge, you check the straightness. So you can see through the lights, yeah, from the lights you have. You can see if it's, um, there's any spot that um, is on, it's a lower or high. So there's no light coming out from the, the other side. You're good to go. So this is really, really flat. Okay, so I'll do the same with the 1000 side, 1000 grit. Oh, more than yeah, more than five hundred times. It okay. depends on what kind of stone you sharpen. But uh, of course, ceramic stones for over one thousand grade or six thousand grade, you can sharpen really a lot of times. It will not because the diamonds really hard wearing for the this type of um, uh, Latin plate, so you can sharpen it many many times. Really. It's definitely worth the, the investment because I always flatten with the granite and you know, sandpaper and uh, silicon chloride powders. They leave so much, so many uh, messy, and it, it, actually the surface that you get is really not flat. It's a little bit flat. I was happy with it, but after experiencing the Mapalo Latin plate, I I just go with this really. It's worth the price. Yeah, it's worth the price definitely. So, when you check your flatness again, you see through the lights, no lights coming out, okay, you're good set. So, last thing you would do uh, after you flatten the both sides, you want to chamfer these um, sharp corners because if you have a sharp edge, uh, you might hurt your finger sometimes and sharp corners can be also fragile, so you need to just knock off these angles a little bit more to get chamfered edge for your stones okay so like like this more rounded edge Heiko brought this um, Nagura stones as well for um, Naniwa professional series and this bastard so I will try to also flatten the uh, Nagura stones as well. These are needed for high grit uh, sharpening. This is for slurry making for, for 3000 or 6000. So this needs to be also flat because we don't want to dish out your high grit stones even faster 
because of the Lagra stone. So also flatten this. flatten both sides and then you also chamfer the edge So now all the stones are flattened out, so you are ready to sharpen.